When it comes to wholesaling real estate, there are three methods for how to do that. We've already talked about two of those methods on previous videos in this series. This is method three on the three ways to wholesale cheap real estate. We're gonna be covering the option agreement. We're gonna cover it right now on this video. Welcome back, Jerry Norton here, and this is our third method for how to wholesale cheap real estate. We've covered the other two methods on previous videos in this three-part series. Again, this is Real Estate Freedom TV. Everything we do is to help you master real estate so that you can make more money and ultimately live your dream life, have, be, do, and give everything that's important to you. That's really why we do this and what this is all about. And we're gonna be covering today method number three and that is what we call the option now an option is a little bit different a lot of people don't quite know what an option is or how that pertains to wholesaling an option is different than a regular purchase and sale contract what an option says is i have the right to buy the property for a specified price but i'm not obligated to meaning if i don't no harm, no foul, it doesn't hurt anything. So an option means that I have a certain window of time, whatever you agree on with the seller, it could be a day, it could be 30 days, but I have a time frame for when I need to execute that contract. So for example, let's say that I get an option for $50,000. And let's say that my option agreement is for 30 days. So you have to have a price, you have to have a time frame, and the third thing is you have to have option fee. There has to be consideration. So let's say that I pay $500 as an option fee. So I have a price, 50,000. I have a time frame, 30 days to execute the 50,000. And I have a option fee of $500. What that means is it means if I don't buy the house in 30 days for 50,000, then I lose, I forfeit my $500 option fee. That's the downside is you, you will lose your option fee. Now you can, uh, you can set that option fee to whatever you agree on with the seller. Could be a dollar, I've done it for a dollar before. Could be a thousand dollars, could be $10,000, could be whatever you agree on. Just know that if you do an option agreement that if you don't execute the option agreement, then you'll lose your option fee. Why would you do an option agreement? What would be the benefit for wholesaling? Well, here's an example. Uh, one time I met with the seller on a property that I wanted to buy and we were going back and forth on price. The seller wanted $125,000, but I only wanted to pay $118,000. And we're kind of at a stalemate, right? Now, I could walk from the deal because it's a little too tight, but what I did instead is I signed an option agreement for his number of 125. And I said, I said, listen, I don't know if I can make 125 work. I really need to be at 118, but you don't want to go any lower. I get it. Let's do an option agreement and give me 30 days. And what I'll do is I'll see if I can make that work. I don't know if I can, I'm not for sure. And I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with my investors. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna do my very best. Now I did that because I wasn't sure if I could do it, but I got plenty of time now. So what I did is I went out and I shopped that deal to, to investors and I finally found an investor that would pay 130. So that meant that I had a $5,000 wholesale fee. So I went back and we executed the option agreement. I assigned it to a cash buyer. I'll talk about this in a second. And I made a $5,000 fee. So the reason why I chose to do an option agreement was simply because I didn't know if I could find a buyer. So that's where an option can come in really helpful when you're wholesaling real estate. So let's walk through the four steps here. Step number one is you execute an option agreement. I'll give you my option agreement. It's a really simple contract. It's in my wholesaler contract pack. This is my resource guide for everything we're talking about in this series here. So you can get this downloaded for free. Just click the link in the description and you can get that and you'll have my option agreement in there. So you, you execute that option agreement. Remember the three things. You have to have price, a time frame, and consideration in order for that option agreement to be binding. Second thing is you're going to find your cash buyer, just like you would with regular wholesaling. Once you find your cash buyer, you're going to then use an assignment contract. Again, that's in my contractor pack. You can have that. Use an assignment. You assign the option agreement to the new cash buyer. The new cash buyer executes the option agreement and we go to a closing and you walk away with your wholesale fee. All right, so that was our third method for wholesaling cheap real estate. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to download that free resource guide if you want that. And if you missed the other two methods in this three-part series, be sure to go back and watch those. All three of these methods we put together in a series. We put them in a playlist for you to watch. And Jerry Norton here, and I'll see you on the next video.